Many years into their respective careers, Steve Martin and Martin Short found some real success in the world of streaming. Not bad for a couple of guys who started their careers in the 1970s. Only Murders in the Building turned out to be a critical and commercial success for Hulu, and a great showcase for the two longtime friends and occasional co-stars. On this show though, Martin and Short are joined by Selena Gomez, decidedly of a different generation. Back in the day, Gomez could not have co-starred with Martin and Short, timeline-wise, but she does work quite well with them. That made us wonder if, perhaps, Gomez could have fit in as a co-star in any other previous Martin and Short project. The first time Short and Martin really joined forces was in Three Amigos, a classic comedy where they co-starred with Chevy Chase. Could Gomez have been that third amigo? Frankly, no. The whole point is that these three actors are past their prime, uh, are desperate for work and, due to miscommunication, end up in a small Mexican town as heroes, not actors. They have to be contemporaries. Plus. Gomez doesn't have the same vibe of a Chase. She doesn't necessarily play dumb and arrogant like Chase does. Father of the Bride, on the other hand, could be a project that would work for Gomez. She could even have been the titular bride. Martin and Gomez work well together, and so they could have embodied a father and daughter we believe. There are other, smaller roles Gomez could have done, but we want to stick her into a co-starring role, and that's the best one for her. Lastly, there's Jiminy Glick and Lala Wood, a little scene film featuring Short's Glick character. Martin just has a cameo as himself, but that's how Jiminy Glick works. Gomez could do the exact same thing. Her deadpan style would have worked quite well against Glick. It seems like she could keep it together while Short does his thing as Glick. Unfortunately, we can't manipulate time, but if we could, Gomez could have done even more work as part of a trio with Martin and Short. Alas, we are but left with our dreams. How do you feel about the trio of Martin, Short, and Gomez? Was it confusing how many times we said Martin and Short given the fact that one of their names is Martin Short? Let us know in the comments and for more videos like this be sure to subscribe to the Fence Magazine YouTube channel.